Welcome to another Simple Press Screencast tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at user groups. Simple Press Forum has an extremely sophisticated yet easy to work with user access control system that enables you to create a completely open forum that anyone can visit and post to, right through to a private forum for invited individuals only. There are two aspects to user access. The first is the user groups and the second are the permission sets. Let's start by looking at the user groups. Click on Manage User Groups. By default, SimplePress creates three user groups for you, and in most situations, this will be all you'll require. Each user group will contain members from your forum, and you can view these members by clicking the Show Hide Members button. As you can see, our members group contains a list of people who are associated to this group. However, the guest group doesn't have any members. That's because the guest group will always consist of people who aren't actually members of your website. Let's take one of our existing members and make them a moderator. We're going to make Carol, who's currently a member, into a moderator. So click on the Move Delete Members button. This will bring up the list of members in this group. The first thing to do is to select the user group you're going to move the member to. Now, click on Carol's name and move her to the selected list. Finally, delete or move the members. If we now look at the members of the moderators group, you can see that Carol has become a moderator. For now, Let's move Carol back to becoming a regular member. Click the Move Delete Members button, then select the group you're moving them to. If your site has a lot of members, it may be necessary to filter the list to save time. You can do this using the filter box. Simply type in part or all of the person's name and then click the Filter List button. Then select your user, move them to the list, and confirm the action. Now let's move on and create a new user group. Let's assume you have a group of forums that you only want a select few individuals to be able to see. You can do this by creating a user group for those members. Click the Create New User Group tab. Then give your user group a name. followed by a description. Now you need to decide if the members of this group will be considered moderators. If so, tick the checkbox. In this example, we don't want members to be considered moderators, so we'll leave it in its default state. Finally, create the new group. Now we've created our new user group, let's set up a new forum group that only our super users can access. Go to the Forums tab and create a new group. Type in your group name and the description and finally set up our group permissions. This time we want our guests to have no access, our members to have no access, our moderators to have no access and our super users to have standard access. This means only users contained within our super users group will be able to view the forums contained in this forum group. Now while that may sound slightly confusing, it's actually a very simple concept once you understand the basics. You can now begin to populate this new group with forums that you only want your super users to be able to access. You can have even more control over your user's access by setting up permissions. User permissions are discussed in another screencast.